Hello there, this is Nopename. My Minecraft map uh, Project Zelda is currently in alpha testing mode and I decided to take a small break from it because it just got on my nerves and I had to do something different. And yeah, in this video I'm going to show you what I'm working on at the moment um, as a break from the other project. Um, maybe you remember my MC64 Minecraft computer. As far as I can tell, that's the fastest programmable computer inside Minecraft, um, running on the vanilla Minecraft client. Um, it's really cool and I'm really proud of it, but there are two problems. One small problem, um, I know the code could run even faster and the big problem, the user interface. Um, to program that thing, you have to click on a keyboard in chat and that's just ugly and it takes forever to just write a small program. So I decided to um, kind of restart that project and shift the goal of the project. Instead of having everything inside Minecraft, you now write the code outside of Minecraft in your favorite text editor. So. It should go a lot faster now. And when you run my MCC compiler, um, which is a command line tool, and it will generate a data pack, which you then can run inside Minecraft. And that data pack only requires the default Minecraft command, so you can run the code inside the vanilla Minecraft client. But the code generation will take place outside of Minecraft. So, um, let me give you an example. Um, here I have a small test. <clears throat> um, right now the language is quite simple, but uh, once I added more features, it will look somewhat like a simplified version of C. Um, anyway, so here I have a function called main with a return value integer. And in here I have three um, local variables called Fibonacci, old and TMP. Um, yeah, so you can already tell this will generate the Fibonacci sequence. But first of all, we have a small um, countdown. So it will print out uh, three in chat. In chat. <laughs> wait 20 Minecraft game ticks, which should be one second, print out two, wait another second, print of one, uh, wait another second, and then it will say start and run this uh, while loop. And it will run that while loop um, as long as the number inside Fibonacci is smaller than the integer limit minus the old value because um, here I will add the old value to the new Fibonacci value. And if I get an integer overflow here, the value would turn negative and then we, had, uh, we would have an infinite while loop. So I have to check that in the condition. Um, yeah, but before it calculates the new stuff, it will simply print out Fibonacci and then the value of Fibonacci and then it will basically um, add the previous value to the new value and store the old value in old. I hope that makes sense. Um, so now let's compile it. Um, as I said, it's a command line tool, so no user interface, no graphical user interface. Um, it's the MCC compiler and we specify the input like this, um, dash i and then the file. And we can either use print mode, this will just print out the content of the files in, in the command, uh, in the terminal here. Let's do that. Um, oops, as you can see, it's quite fast. And this will be the content of the data pack or most of it. Now let's specify an output. Um, I want it inside Minecraft saves. Um, I think it's called MCC testing data 
packs and let's call it Fibonacci test. And now it says generate, uh, do you want to generate five directories containing 14 files inside that folder? Yes, I want to do that and it finished. So let's see, right now we have, oops, um, game rule, send command of true. So right now, um, this is disabled, okay. So let's do reload. Okay, now the data pack should be inside here and you start the program by running the function um, underscore start underscore. Three, two, one. And then executed the program. Here is the full list um, of all the Fibonacci numbers up to the integer limit and it took um, roughly three seconds mainly because we counted down three seconds here and the return value is this weird thing. Uh, just ignore that. Um, we can now modify the program. Um, let's just comment out these Uh, the countdown here and save it and if I try to uh, compile it again it will say me the uh, invalid output directory make sure it doesn't exist yet um, yeah it exists already so let's remove it oops and if I try it, if I try it again it will succeed now let's try reload and I messed up the game rules you can see that okay so let's try it again and it was so fast you couldn't even see it let me um, clear the chat and run it again <laughs> it calculates the stuff instantly it only took roughly nine milliseconds and yeah as you can see the countdown is now gone because I commented out the countdown here and uh, let's start with a different value. How about this? And um, yes. So reload and uh, clear the chat. Now I generated another data pack, Fibonacci second, and let's try that out. And here you can see it generated different values because we started with uh, 23 instead of one and it took five milliseconds, four, seven. It's a bit random how much time it takes, as you can see, but it's really fast and yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, a few things are still not working. For example, um, function parameters aren't working. Um, I could do something like in, in here, um, it should even compile, but I can't use, um, I can't use it inside the function yet. And if I call this function, um, I can't pass the parameter. So let's try in print mode. So we don't actually generate the files. Um, okay, it doesn't even even recognize the stuff here, but um, you can define um, other functions. And if you want to use um, the function, oops, here, if I want to call a function here, um, since this is a single pass compiler, it doesn't know uh, the function exists at this point because it's only implemented down here. So I have to declare it up here. Um, this should now compile. No. Oops. Eh. Oh, right. I forgot uh, the return type. 
yes, this compiles, um, but if I comment out that thing, um, it will give me an error in this line because it doesn't know the function exists here. Oh, it actually, um, <laughs> yeah, generates an infinite loop. That's not supposed to happen, but yeah, as you can see, it's not um, finished yet, that project. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to this thing here and the release of Project Zelda episode two. Um, yeah, both are still work in progress. Um, but I just wanted to give this a small update. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.